one pe- people who think that they deserve shit from w- women like like a thank you just for holding the door open when they're supposed to do that out of the kindness of their heart you know in order of being a decent human being so I did that on the 24th and I did the uh, incels on the 17th so maybe I'm thinking about doing colorism tomorrow man well, you guys like the sound of that That's, that sounds cool I'm uh, definitely down for that shit so I'm gonna do that man I'm gonna put some articles and we're gonna talk this shit out um, for all the black people in the room we're gonna talk it out man and we're like, like what's the deal how can we solve this shit resolve this shit how so uh yeah guys guys stay tuned for that tomorrow man but New York Post says the Flash star Ezra Miller arrested at her Hawaii bar Ezra Miller the film star best known for playing the Flash in the Justice League films was arrested just after midnight Monday at a bar in Hawaii after allegedly flipping out over patrons singing karaoke the 29 year old was charged with disorderly conduct and harassment in connection with the late night disturbance at a South Halo bar. During the course of their investigation, the police determined that the man later identified as Ezra Miller became agitated while patrons at the bar began singing karaoke. According to the Hawaii Police Department report, Miller began yelling obscenities and at one point grabbed a microphone from a 23 year old woman singing karaoke to early conduct offense and later lunch at a 32 tw- year old man playing darts harassment offense the bar owner asked miller to come down several times to no avail miller who revealed to gq in 2020 that they use they down pronouns and they appointed refusal to be gendered or identify in any category was arrested and charged with total bail set at just five hundred dollars five hundred five hundred dollars a celebrity yeah i know the fantastic beast star provided the bell and was released a dirty set uh and it just happened on 28 too so yeah not too long ago it, here he got him uh him in this picture of his stupid ass haircut i mean their stupid ass haircut apologies uh in addition to appearing in a number of DC Comics Justice League movies, Miller was started as a Flash that long film in 2023. I mean, I am looking forward to his movies, but to the Flash movie, but hey, cut this guy off right now, man. Cancel his ass. Do the work, Counselor Kosher. Cancel this fool. They don't deserve any more work. This is not his first offense. This is his second offense, man. His first offense is when I think he attacked a fan. Yeah. I clearly do have something going on. Like he has some anger issues. And, and he needs to get that shit taken care of. You know. But until then, man, don't put this guy in any more movies. Let that... Like whatever movie he just done, let that be the last movie he ever do. Until he acts right. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, man, people are are, are holding celebrities like Will Smith, Jesse Smollett to a much higher standard. Like, people like Ezra Miller, they seem to just forget. First, they'd be like, oh, that's unacceptable. Then, after a day or two, uh, life goes on, right? Life goes on. But Will and Jesse, yeah, hang them on a cross. I hate to sound this vulgar, but it's, it, it's what it seems like. 
don't come at me with, don't, don't come at me with, with no it's not what it seems like it's much bigger I was like um no it's not like you you right it, it is much bigger <laughs> like goodness man ah <sighs> I hate to talk about this stuff because I want people to just do them and not hold these celebrities to a higher standard like this man. It's like, why do you worship these people for it? You're not getting nothing out of it. Uh Uh-uh. I think something just fell. Is it easy? But yeah, like, these hilarious don't care nothing about you. <laughs> they don't know you. Why do you care what they do? Like, yeah, it's okay to to be like, hey, you know, shit's not cool. And yeah, it's okay to call them out on their poor shit, but don't make it your life to just give them hell. Cause you know, yeah, the, like the world wouldn't be a right place if we didn't call out these people. Especially like with uh, rape cases, you know. But just like like a like a simple smack, <laughs> a simple smack. I apologize to Chris Rock and everything like that, and he's probably going through some shit right now. But yeah, like. I'm getting tired of people. Like air I go. It's here. Oh, Will Smith this. Jesse Smollett that. Kanye West this. It's exhausting. And it's making my hair gray. Just go back to looking at Ukraine and Russia. Sick of it. But I had another article too, you know, it it was about like Trump making phone calls during the January 6th attack and uh, there was like a list too and it seems like um, he called Mike Pence, he called House Minority Leader, uh, Kevin McCarthy, he called Senators Mike Lee and Tommy Tuberville, Representative uh, Jim Jordan, Matt Gates, yeah, just those people. I got was gonna read it, this article, but uh, maybe another time. I'm gonna save it for another day. So yeah. We'll get more on today, like on Friday or something, man. I, I don't know. But tomorrow, we doing a perspective. We're doing colorism. So, yay. Lace up your bootstraps. My people. We're talking about this shit. Clear in the air. But... Yeah, on that note, uh, take care of each other, but most importantly, take care of yourself and your mental health. Take care of yourself in general. Um, I've been your host, Casey Genesis, and you've been listening to any AM. Enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, be sure to go watch Moon Knight on Disney Plus. So. Marvel series that just came out and the first episode was really good. I enjoyed it. Um, I've watched it on my iPad and I'm going to watch it on my big screen later on. Uh, but yeah. Enjoy the rest of your day. Be safe out there. Peace.